Welcome back to the table. Today we are going to try a round one with none other than Return to Dark Tower. This is particularly special to me, uh, less special to Alicia here, Probably. my wife. Uh, I grew up with the original Dark Tower. I did not. Yeah, yeah. You, you definitely did not. I am, of, I am perfectly of the age to remember Dark Tower. I, had a cop I have a couple copies now, some of which are in semi-working condition, but nothing like this. Uh, although you did have a chance to play it at Gen Con, right? I did, yeah. Yeah, we had a, well, actually not even a demo. We played a full game of this at Gen Con with Rob Rouse and Jeremy Howard. Right. Uh, and Justin Jacobson didn't play, but he oversaw the he whole game. He was kind enough to of, let us play. Yeah, yeah, of Restoration Games. So, And they uh, sent this to us. We got this just before the holidays, so we're really excited to play it. I've played it a couple times now, but we wanted to get to the table for you to show you everything in action. Uh, we're not going to play an entire game on camera, but we are going to play quite a few uh, turns, at least, on sure. camera. Then we'll finish and we'll come back and share sort of what our whole experience was. And we have set this up. Uh, we have an app that hopefully I'm animating on the screen right now. Uh, so you can see a little bit about what we have going on. But what we have in front of us is the map, yep. the world map, the Dark Tower, of course. Indeed. And then who are the foes that we have for this round? So we've got the brigands. The brigands. We debated on how to pronounce brigands. Brigands, it's brigands. Brigands, or we did a little sling, sling blade action, too, and said <laughs> brigands. Brigands. <laughs> uh, also what? Uh, Frost Troll. Frost Troll. That's the a, next level up. Right. And then we've got a Titan. And then our adversary is Bane of Omens. Yeah, so when you play this game, you can actually select that. So each level, two, three, four, and then the adversary, you kind of like can mix and match. So we pick the ones that we wanted to. We pick the mission, which you can see here on screen is raise an outlaw army. Gleb the outlaw king suggests charging the tower head on. He asks you to muster an army at the tower walls. What this means is our goal is Quest in Tower Scar Desert and spend 100 warriors, which is a lot of warriors in this game. However, it says spend 10 less warriors for each gear you have. And you might not be able to see this on camera, but we have the gear spread out here. There are six different types of gear you can collect from the bazaar. You can also get treasures from the bazaar. These are also off camera. But just to let you know, what we have up first is the Spear of Atish. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Hopefully. As Cole's Idol and the Lamp of Hope. Now these treasures and the gear will give us some benefits as we're playing, but we're also going to want to collect some of that gear so we can do that final goal a little bit a easier. hundred warriors? Yeah, well, if we get one of each of these goal or gears, that's going to take it down to 40, which is still a it's lot still of still a fair amount. Um, and the board has been seeded with some brigands. Brigands. Or brigands. Mm -hmm. Brigands. And one frost troll here in the north. Uh, I am starting, I am the warrior, the brutal warlord, in fact, and you are? I am a relic hunter. And she's starting over in the east. Uh, so we're setting this up for two players, obviously. Uh, and we've got two skulls starting on all the citadels and all the sanctuaries because the app told us to do that. And with that, I think we can begin. Oh, there's some other things, some, some other things. I was given the black mark, which is this little ring on a chain. It says you cannot spend or lose this card for any reason. Spend one spirit, which is one of the currencies in the game, <clears throat> to give this card to another hero. What I believe this is going to do, because the uh, adversary, Bane of Omens, he's going to be hunting down and doing bad things to whoever's holding the black mark. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Luckily, I also started with Gleb the Outlaw King from the, uh, the storyline. And as long as Gleb is with me, uh, it says, if you end your turn within the mountains, gain six warriors. So Gleb is going to help us collect some of those warriors along Good, the way. Good, because we need a lot. We do. Uh, and I, it, I did learn in the few times I've played this, one player has to have those things. So we're gonna maybe have to meet up and trade some stuff along the way so that we can sort of trigger the end game. Uh, Gleb also gives me a plus two humanoid advantage. Um, we'll explain advantages when we get to them, but there are things that you can spend uh, when you're resolving some of the things like battles and whatnot. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to continue on here to see what's next. You're probably going to hear some sounds. We pretty much set this up ready to go for month one. And you'll hear the tower a little bit. 
which is probably one of the coolest things it in, is. in gaming right cool. now. Um, and now it's my turn. So we've got the companion quest and adversary quest aren't legit for the first round. After the first month, we're going to be giving an adversary quest, which we have to tackle or bad things will happen. And then we're also going to be giving a companion quest, which we can do to either get like a quest item or maybe even another companion like old Gleb here. Uh, but right now we don't have that. So I'm going to start. And one of the things you have to do in this game is cleanse these skulls off of these locations. Because if we run out of skulls here in the general supply and we only have two, four, six, eight of them <sighs> left right now, uh, we lose. Uh, another way to lose is if we get... Three, corruption. We can get corruption cards by failing at things or if we have to spend something and we don't have it. Uh, and the corruption cards will go here. They make things a little more, more difficult. But also, like I said, if you get three, it's game over. Uh, to win the game, we have to get all the way through it and achieve that main goal. Oh. Um, so uh, I'm going to go through what you do on your turn. At the beginning of your turn, you're going to start right here in the middle of the uh, player sheet. It says start of turn, and each of us have a special power. As the Brutal Warlord, I get to gain five warriors. What well, is yours? That, I get to gain a potion. She gets a potion. So that's, that's cool. Everything's kind of beneficial there. Now, I do the middle of my turn, and this I can do in any order, but you can move. You're going to do a heroic action. You're going to do a reinforce action. And like I said, I could do the reinforce first. I could move first. I could do whatever. Uh, you can also split up your move. So if I move a little and do one of them, I can finish moving a little bit more and do another one. So I'm starting right here in the Citadel. There's two skulls. So I'm going to go ahead and begin by cleansing. So when you cleanse, it says remove all skulls from your space. I'm okay. going to simply take those off the board, put them over here in the supply, so we have a little bit more in the supply. And you gain... I gain two spirit. Uh, spirit's going to be used for a number of different things, particularly when you reinforce. Uh, but you get two spirit after you take your heroic action, period, whether it's cleanse, battle, or quest. Uh, now I can, so I've done my heroic action, so I can't battle, I can't do anything else like that. I can reinforce. And if I reinforce at a citadel, I'm just going to gain a potion. Mm -hmm. I think, though. Move. I'm going to go ahead and start. I'm going to move and see if I can get some more warriors just so we can get a ton of them. And I'm right here next to this village, so I'm going to go one, two of my three move. And then I will reinforce at the village. At the village, you can gain six warriors for free, or you can spend a spirit, like okay. so, and gain 12 warriors. So That's not too shabby, I... considering we need a large army. Yeah, and now I have 24 uh, 24 warriors, Practically which is pretty Practically game good. over. Now, we will spend those before we get to the end because we're going to have to do a lot of battling. But I feel pretty good about that. And, like I said, I can split up my move. So I have one movement left. So where do you think... Do you have any ideas? Uh, by the way, it's cooperative. That's why we're consulting with one another. Do you have any ideas where I should go, maybe, for my next turn? I mean, I guess it would depend on if you wanted to do some more cleansing or if you wanted to maybe hit up the bad guys in your area. Yeah, I guess I, I, mean, I guess I'll move this direction either way. Okay. Um, so I'm, I'm going to do that. Now, my turn is over. I've done all three of the things. And now at the end of your turn, you take one of the skulls out of the general supply. This part's pretty cool. This is very cool. <laughs> and you drop it in the tower. And then you look to the app. And fortunately for us, it says no events. Usually the events aren't necessarily good for the most part. I just hit continue. And now it is your turn. All Alicia, right. the Relic Hunter. All right. So I am in a Citadel area with a couple of skulls. So I think I'm going to... Oh, actually, let me take my potion first. Ah, oh, yes. Let's top to bottom. It's hard to remember that I know. I, I agree. I stink at that. So stay on top of me about I it. I will. Okay? All right. Well, you so got. I have a potion of the Golden Sun, which I get to spend and gain a spirit, which I'm just going to go ahead and take care of that. That way... Probably one of the weaker potions, honestly, that I mean, I've seen. But not bad. I'll take, you know... I mean, I'll take a free spirit. Why not? And so I've done that. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cleanse, which I'm going to take these two guys off the table. Take care of that. And because I took a heroic action, I'm going to get two more spirit. You've so, got spirit. I know. You're supposed to say, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Mm. I have spirit. <laughs> We're not gonna. We have problems. We How were, about we, you? Oh, she oh did. David, you she started did. it. You started it. Okay, 
So I did that. Now I can, if I do it a citadel, I can get a potion. No, I think. Yeah, I'm... you don't really need to like get more potions. Nah. nah. Oh, but yeah. So look, let's look at the treasures. You've got the spear of Atish. When you defeat a melee foe, gain. Mm -hmm. That seems like it's more for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm melee is not my game. This one says prevent two. Uh, two. Warrior losses yep. per dungeon room. Okay. We don't even have any dungeons out on the board yet, so that's uh -huh. not the greatest one. And then the Lamp of Hope. When you cleanse, you can remove skulls from any space. Oh, that seems solid, considering there's just two of us and there's a large map on the board. That's huge. And I... some of these you have to spend, but this one you don't. I don't. You're right. So I need to go to a bazaar in order to gain a treasure. Oh, and what's good for me is that I also have a virtue that when I reinforce at a bazaar, I get to spend one less spirit to gain a treasure. So seems like getting treasures is going to be my gig. I mean, you can do it easy anyway. Ah, uh, fair enough. So I'm going to go ahead. Where's the nearest well, bazaar? The bazaar over there is pretty far. It is far. Um, this one here is Within, one, two, three spaces yeah. so away. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go one, two, three. Thank you. <laughs> And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to reinforce there. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to spend a spirit because I can spend one rather than two to gain a treasure. Nice. I'm going to go ahead and take the Lamp of Hope. That's good. Now, treasures we can have four of. Potions oh. we can have as many as we want. Um, companions we can have as many as we want. And the gear here, you can only have one of each type. So either one of us can only have one of each of the six gear. And we're going to want to collect that gear sure, uh, this game, too. Sure, that's le 10 less warriors to have. Yeah, yeah. for each one. For and sure. one thing we forgot to mention to you, because we're always too wimpy to try it, <laughs> is... Why? Why chance it? This haggle die. <sighs> uh, when you reinforce, if you want to, you can roll this die and either... Well, you take whatever rolls up. Yeah. So uh, if I'd rolled this when we reinforced, uh, she would have also gotten three warriors. But... There's other faces here. There's one that's the bonus is getting a gear for free, which is pretty big. That's not bad. There's a potion, and then there's a blank space that doesn't give you any bonus, but you still get to take the reinforce action. And then the bad side, or two sides, is sort of the bizarre closed side if you're familiar with the original game. And that means you don't even get to take your reinforce action. What? So it oh. just kind of penalizes you. We'll see if we use this. I promise we. I will use it at least once just to risk it because it is nice to get. Although it really sucks when you get shot down. Yeah. Is that everything for you? I need to drop a skull. Oh, boy. Did he fall out? Events. Events. Oh, gosh. And by the way, before we go to the events, just want to tell you, whenever if you get a chance to play this game... Don't rob anyone their opportunity to drop their own skull. You gotta really just let everyone drop their own skull. It just feels right. The tower awakens. The bane of omens invades the soul of the one who bears his mark. The player with the black mark gains a corruption. I, unfortunately... That's you. ...have the black mark. This kind of sucks. I mean, that's on your turn, and it's happening to me. Well. So I have to gain a cor corruption right off the bat. I'm going to take the top corruption card, and it says, Suspicious. You cannot carry more than two potions. Um, so that's not too bad. No. It is It is a penalty, because like I said, we can carry as many potions as we want. I cannot. I can only carry two, so I'm going to be consuming potions as I get them. The worst thing about this is now I'm two away from losing us the game. So if I get another one, for sure, I'm going to want to get to a sanctuary for a reinforce action. That way I can get rid of corruptions. That is one thing you can do and probably something we're going to have to do in this game. Uh, what's next here? And that the month ended. So the first month always ends after once around the table, but then it can go varying amounts. Month two, new quests. This is kind of a cool thing. So. Our companion quest is Recruit Miris. Miris, the horse lord, probes the tower's defenses with her right, riders. You can convince her that there is strength in numbers. Our task, quest in Anza and spend three stealth advantages to gain Miris as a companion. So where is Anza? It's in the west. It's over here. Gotta be. Anza looks like... Are you on it? Oh, no, it's down oh, here. It's where right. the village, village is. <clears throat> so I'm going to put this 
out there to signify that's where our companion quest is. And we also have to put our main quest out. We forgot to do that, so we'll check that in a second. And then the adversary quest. Assassins Unleashed. The Bane's assassins hunt the one with the black mark. Great, this is awesome. Uh, they will first strike the warriors around the hero. The assassins can be ambushed as they lead the tower, though. Task, quest in the throne and spend two gear or the hero with the black mark will lose warriors. Oh. How many, we don't know. And that is in the south. So quest in the throne. I believe that, I'm gonna lift the tower for a second. It's right there. So that quest. I'll put it down. Is going there. Got it. Hit continue. So month two begins, and this is gonna be something uh, really helpful and cool that I'll show you here. After the tower it finishes interrupting me. Um, we had forgotten to put the main quest marker out, but you can always go back and look at the main goal. Mm. And it says quest in Tower Scar Desert, north? which is right here in the north next to the tower. Uh, to do the main goal. So when that time comes, that's where we're gonna go, but that, that marker helps us remember that, and then we can just back out and start playing again. Okay. So it is back to me. Oh, yeah. and that quest is right next to me. I know, and but that one can is you spend... have more than one companion? I can. You can have as many companions as you want. The only limit is treasures, really. All right. Uh, and then the gear. All right. Um, and that's to spend three stealth advantages. I don't have any. Mm. Stealth advantages. There's a stealth here. There's a stealth. What do you um, have? You have a humanoid advantage as your virtue? Yep. And I have two wild advantages and I have a magic advantage. And your wild advantage is in, oh, hills. the hills. Mine is in the forest. So that is not going to help us with that. <clears throat> and then the other one is to get two gear around the other side of the board. Well. That might be more. I think I'm going to go. Hmm. First. Take your first personal action, start of your turn. Yes, I am going to start there. I'm going to get my five warriors. And then I think I'm just going to go take care of these brigands <clears throat> uh, while I can. I'm going to move one, two right. to the brigands. And then I'm going to battle. Now, here's a very cool thing. This is how the battle works. You're going to push this button here on the app. And then you choose what you're battling. You look, it's the brigands. I'm going to tap brigands. I'm going to hit battle. And since they're a level two, they have like sort of a small deck or hand of cards that come out face down. And I'm going to pick two of those. And then you're effectively just sort of suffering the results of those cards. However, you can spend some advantages that you might have in order to in improve those cards. So as you can see here, this one says lose five warriors. Ooh. And I have advantages. You can spend up to 10 advantages overall if you have them. So what advantages do I have? Well, the brigands are stealth and humanoid. And as long as I have Gleb with me, I have yeah. two humanoid advantages. So there's two. Okay. And then, is that in the forest? It's not no. in the forest, so no. I don't have that. I do have one melee advantage, but it's not a melee creature. So that's no. not going to help. Um, and that's, that's about, oh no, I have one wild advantage when I'm in battle, which I am. So I have three advantages here for this fight mm. and two cards. So I'm going to improve this once. That's one of the three. Now it says lose three warriors. I'm going to spend the other one on it again. Now it says gain one potion. Oh. So it went from a negative thing all the way to a positive thing. So I'll take my potion. Off you go. It's that same potion you have. Well, I'm going to go ahead and spend it. Why not? The bottom there, and I'll take another spirit. You have spirit. And then I'll continue. And then we've got the next one. <laughs> David. So the next one is lose one potion, but I have that one advantage left, so I'm going to spend it. No. And it's no losses, so I'll take that. I have no more advantages to spend. And we get to remove the token from the board. We've defeated the brigands, at least those brigands. And that was my heroic action, so I get two spirit, please. Oh, all right. Um, and I haven't reinforced. You haven't moved. No, I moved. Oh, you a did little. two. You moved two. I have one right. more move, and then I can reinforce. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna move down to the bazaar. Okay. And I'm gonna reinforce there, but I'm not gonna 
Uh, is there anything good here? Oh, there is a, uh, this golden mace of Azkol came out to replace what you took. And it is, it says, while on a space with a foe, spend spirit equal to that foe's level to remove it. So you're not necess you're not battling it, but you can remove enemies, uh, foes off the board just as long as you have a nice amount of spirit, which is I mean, pretty good. Like a magic wand rather than... But I'm a huge war... I, like, I'm a brutal warlord. I don't think I need it. I'm going to let you take that if you come back and get another treasure. So okay. I'm just going to get a gear for free. And I will take... You know what? I'm going to take that stealth advantage just in the off chance I can get another couple wild advantages or something to finish this quest. Okay. So that is everything on my turn. Now I just drop a skull. Oh, actually, you know what I'm going to do? Before I take that, I'm going to roll the die. David. So I'm reinforcing it that bizarre. And I'm rolling the die. I can't watch. For a little bonus. Oh, boy. David, see? <laughs> this is why. The bizarre. I got the bad face. So I don't even <sighs> get the dusky cloaks. Uh, I might not roll the dice again. <laughs> But I probably will. You probably will. I probably will. So that's my turn. I'm going to take a skull. That was sad. Drop it in. Oh, oh he fell. and it came right out. So the skulls are going to go in there, and they're going to go in a number of different places. There's these three sort of levels, uh, levels and shields on each side that you're going to remove at times, and those might let skulls pour out that have collected in there throughout the game. They might show glyphs that are going to make things more difficult for you to do. Uh, but this one went all the way down, came out the bottom, into the north here. And since it's my turn and there's no one controlling the north, I'm going to be able to place this. Uh, right now I'm just going to place it. Should I place on the Citadel one of these because we already have skulls there and we could just cleanse them? Sure. So what's the rule on how many skulls you can have in a space? You can only have three in a building. So oh. if we put this here and for some crazy reason a skull is specifically, if we're specifically told it has to go on this citadel, it would be the fourth skull. And if you're to place your fourth skull, you do not do that. You remove the building and the skulls that are on it. Uh, and that's bad because the building's no longer there for us to use. And if it's destroyed, the person who, whose turn it was gains a corruption as well. Well, that's so, no fun. I think though, since I mean, you're I'm right, right here and you have that lamp that lets you cleanse anywhere, yeah. I'm going to put that right there. You know, take another risk because it worked out so well before. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> okay. But you can get rid of them all in one swipe. All right. But you don't have to. Got it. So that is my turn. Oh, and there oh. are vents. So it says a seal is broken. A seal is about to light up to show it should be removed. So I'm going to hit reveal, and then the tower is going to sh you know, shine one of those seals. We'll see where... Oh, and it's right here facing us in the north. It That's is the convenient. bottom. So I'm going to remove it. Oh. oh, and just like I said earlier, it uh, let out another skull. So why don't we put that on the sanctuary? All right. I know that's a little risky. It, yeah. But that's what we did. So <laughs> just so you know, we have three on the citadel, three on the sanctuary here. We can't have any more on those. But there's two other buildings that we can play stuff on. Yeah. So... That's my turn. Um, hopefully nothing else bad happened. Oh, this is good. Gleb recruits warriors. The player with Gleb may spend one spirit to gain 12 warriors. Oh, I am definitely done gonna and do done. That. Wow. That's, I mean. So I now have make a change. lot. Yeah. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 41. I have 41. Now I just need all the... And I need those, too. That's true. Mm. But I'm surprised we have that many warriors already. Thanks, Gleb. Yeah, thanks, Gleb. And now it's your turn. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to start here. I'm in the bazaar, and if I were to reinforce in a bazaar, I'm going to go ahead and get a treasure, which I really want that one. Oh, but first, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my potion. What kind of potion you get this time? Ooh, not the same one. I got Potion of Fortune's Favor. So I spend to gain Ooh. plus one wild advantage. That's nice. That That's... will help if we want to get this stealth one. If we get this, the dusky cloaks uh -huh. and that, and just one more stealth advantage somehow. We need somehow. one more? All right. All right, so I'm going to do that. 
So I got that. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to reinforce at the bazaar. I'm going to... Ooh. You have to spend one, right, to reinforce? Right. I'm not going to be able to fight. Well, you won't be able to fight this turn. No. But you'll have more... You'll have more... Uh, spirit next turn. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take this then. And I'm going to cleanse, I think. Are you going to move at all? Um, yeah, I think I will. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to position myself to be here. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cleanse. And I'm going to use my Lamp of Hope to cleanse and remove skulls from any space. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna remove it from the sanctuary here that has the three on it. See, the sanctuary doesn't have any anymore. Well, the citadel still does, sir. So. And that was your that was your cleanse, your heroic action, so you get oh, two I do, spirit. I do get two more spirit. So and she's positioned herself next to this frost troll here because she just picked up that golden mace of Azkul. Mm. She's gonna be able to, instead of battling that, hopefully, next turn, just spend spirit to get rid of that uh, foe off the board. So we don't really have to battle it so we don't go through all the battle and loss of warriors, which is probably a good thing. Or having to spend advantage and hope all to get better. All that stuff, yeah. all okay. that stuff. So that's pretty good. So that's it for me. I got my two spirit. I'm gonna drop my skull. Oh, did you want to roll? No, 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 we didn't. Oh, did yeah, we that, not that, learn that lesson? Yeah, we did. Okay. We I didn't. <laughs> Clearly. Ooh, that popped right out. I'm um, gonna put that. Where, you, you just decide wherever you want to put that. See, I don't want to press my left. I'm far. Uh, one, two, uh. Remember, you got that lamp. You oh, that's just true. You zip, zap it from way up. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> All right, I'll do it. That so lamp I'm, is pretty sweet. I know. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put it here on the sanctuary. That way we cleanse three when we cleanse that area. And that is my turn. And there are events. Oh, no. All right, so rumor. Rumor. Agents of the tower are infiltrating a sanctuary, waiting for the one with the black mark, me, to approach. So again, it seems this is more of just kind of like a hint that something is going to happen, probably bad, to a sanctuary, eventually, in the in the not too distant future. Oh, and we've got more uh, foes coming out. So in Cross the troll. south. We get a frost troll in Middle Sister, which I think we had something else on Middle Sister. It's over on the river oh, there. Oh, shoot. He's hanging out with oh, some... Oh, wait, what? Yeah. Oh, man. Brigands and frost trolls. Oh, my. I've I've not seen that yet in my plays. Two foes in one space. So if you were to go to a place, do you get your choice? Yeah, you can pick. Okay. Yeah, I don't. you can't take them on both at once, that's for sure. I mean... Um, all right, so it's over to me. Yeah. All right, well, I think I'm going to, uh, we left this citadel with things on it. You're within range. You still need to collect some more stealth and stuff. And that adversary was <clears throat> to spend two gear. And you have no gear. Oh, and I screwed up the gear last time, so yeah. I'm not going to do that. Okay. So you know what? I'm going to go ahead and collect gear right now. Okay. And um, you're at a bazaar? Yep. Yep. I am going to... Well, first, take your five dudes. Oh, thank you. I got warriors coming out my ears. I am going to reinforce at the bazaar for free and gain one gear. So I'm going to gain, gain that stealth, uh, that dusky cloak okay. stealth advantage. Um, now I'm going to move. Now I'm going to... I think I'm going to spend one spirit to move twice the distance uh, that I can normally move. And where are we going over there? Just in this green space? Is that the adversary quest? Is the tower over there? Oh, yeah, this yeah, yeah. Thing? He's just on the other side. All right, so I'm going to spend this. Okay. And I'm going to go... So I can move six. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh. So that gets me to another bazaar so that... Uh, next time I can get that second piece of gear before I go to that situation. I feel like you crossed all of Middle Earth over here. What's happening? And I didn't do, oh, I didn't do a, I didn't do a thing though. I didn't do a heroic action. No. I'm actually back that up. I'm not going to take all of my movement. I'm going to get to this place and cleanse these two skulls off of there and then finish my movement down there. All right. And That's get... the better move. And get two, two spirit back. Two spirit, okay. 
So that's my turn. I see I didn't even use the die. You didn't even use no. the die. Uh, here comes the skull. It got eight up. And so it's in the tower, but we have events. The tower stirs. The tower is about to rotate. Keep your fingers clear. What does that mean? Is this thing gonna move? I think it, it might. Oh. So the tower, <laughs> oh, so you didn't see this, but the tower rotated and spilled out another skull out here in the north, so. Uh, not on the citadel. Certainly <laughs> not on the citadel. Um, of these three, where do you think you might go? Um, Next, the bazaar is gonna be for gear or treasures. The sanctuary is to get rid of corruption, probably not. And yeah. the village is for uh, warriors. I mean, I could use some warriors. I still have my Can OG we just put 12. it on the village? Yeah. Okay, I'll put it on the village. Okay. Um, so that's the only thing that happened. A seal oh. is broken. A seal is about to light up and show you. Ugh. Well, hopefully it's on this it's side. It's gonna be on a different side, I imagine. It is on Over here? the east. Oh, on the, right here. Is it the middle? Yeah, yeah. Can you get it? I got it. Oh, another thing popped out. Great. Right. Listen, listen, Dark Tower. We've had enough of you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the Citadel. Things are moving fast. <gasps> oh. Oh, man. This brigands. Is bad. So the brigands. Uh, it says, foe axe, brigands strike. Each hero loses one item if a brigand is on or adjacent to their space. Uh, I got a frost roll, which is no brigands. And where are you? Clean out there? Nope. Mm, we're good. High five, David. Nice. Mm. We're so lucky. <laughs> we're so good at being lucky. <laughs> all right. Was that my turn? That, that was. My turn, that right? was all you, sir. All right. So we're going to take a few more turns at least, just so you can see a little bit more. Uh, it is your turn. Oh my, okay. So I think I will, I'm gonna take my potion, just cause I, I can. I need to fight something with all potion these Potion of 1,000 strides. Spend to make any hero, spend to move any hero up to oh, three spaces. That's nice. <clears throat> Not bad. So I don't have to spend a spirit if I didn't want to. Or you could. I can have you You move. could move me. Yeah, I that's... could, do you? No, I need to be right there so I can going? get my gear. Fair enough, okay. So I'm going to fight the frost troll because I can. And you're not gonna battle him, right? You're just gonna use your mace? Uh, yeah, I think so because, yeah. Cause I can, while I'm on a space with a spo, with a spo, a, a foe, spo? I mean with a foe, I can spend spirit equal to that foe's level. So for a frost troll that is three, I've got plenty. Well, you got four. Uh-huh, <laughs> so I've got enough, okay. And so I'm gonna spend that. I'm gonna get rid of those guys. So whenever you remove a foe that way, you do have to tell the app that you've done that. So they oh. have this button right here, and it goes and it shows all these, and it shows you how many you had in play. So we're gonna go to Frost Troll here. Mm -hmm. It says two in play. Hold to remove one foe. Holding. And now the tower, the app, everyone at the table knows that that frost troll has been removed. Frost troll acknowledged. Got right. it. <laughs> so. I did that. So I do get two spirit back for doing a, no. No, no, no that I was I did an nothing. actual battle. Oh. Yeah, that was, that was, that was, yeah, That's that actually like wasn't action. even taken it. Oh, yeah. What? That is true. I Didn't even like think this about that. treasure even more. All right, so I think I'm going to go ahead and cleanse. Um, I'll go ahead and cleanse this citadel. That's probably citadel. good, because I trucked over there. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to cleanse this citadel here. Thank you, David. Thank you. Um, in pretty good so shape on that. the skulls. Mm -hmm. And I was able to do that way over here because of my other Lamp of Hope, and I get two spirits, two spirit back. And then I get to reinforce force in an area and I haven't moved so where do I want to go yeah what do you want oh you want Sanctuary. you said you wanted to go to this village maybe and get warriors that's what will happen if you get um yeah I think forest. I will do that I'm gonna go one two I'm at a village so I'm gonna go ahead and I will I can for free oh. you want to do this I mean why not I mean so you for did free, it once. you get six warriors mm -hmm. Or you can spend one spirit and get 12. But can if you're going to roll the die, you have to roll that first. I, I do have to roll it first before I decide on the spirit spending? Not before you decide, but if that has the bazaar closed, you don't get to do anything. Oh, boy. This I'm, dice does not like us. I'm done with the die. <laughs> I'm done. Okay. Uh, so no warriors. No. 
Um, and that's the end of your turn, although you could move unless you wanted to stay put and take orders uh, next I'm at time. two. Um, uh, you moved twice. Uh, I think I will go ahead and stay. Okay. So then I'm going to drop a skull. Oh, and he just jumped he just right out. He jumped right out into the uh, east. I'm going to go ahead and put it on this citadel. That's probably good. No events. That's a plus. Well, there was a hundred last time, so Indeed. that's fine. All right, so it's right back to me. So as you can see, month two has gone back and forth a few times. We're on turn five of month two, whereas month one only had two turns. And we haven't done either of those quests, but I think I'm going to get one of those done right now if I can. So I'm going to start my turn, get five warriors, I adding to my one million of them that I have. Uh, and I'm going to reinforce in that space at the bazaar uh, to gain a gear. It doesn't matter because I think I'm going to have to spend these gear. You need yeah. three stealth? No, no, I'm not doing that one. Oh. I'm spending two gear to... Uh, head off the assassins. Oh, all right. So I'm just going to take this uh, trusted maps, which is actually not bad because it improves my movement. Um, not if you have to spend it, though. Well, I mean, it improves my movement right now so I can get up to where I'm going. All right. I think I'll need that. Um, and now I'm going to move uh, up. Let's see here. I'm going to lean forward. One, two, oh, I can do it. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. And now I'm in the space with that adversary quest. I have two gear to spend. So now we can just hit that adversary quest. And it reminds us, quest in the throne, which is in the south, and spend two gear or the hero with the black mark will lose warriors, which I don't want to do, although I probably could if I wanted to. So I'm going to spend those two gear back to the supply. Uh, and now I just hold the complete. And... Assassins unleashed. You ambush the assassins as they leave the tower, preventing them from hunting ever again. Uh, the hero with the black mark does not lose warriors. So I continue. And if you could remove that little quest marker from over there, that tower. I got it. So that'll come back, I'm sure, but not quite yet. Um, that was, I quested, so I get two spirit. Two spirit. I moved to get there. I reinforced before I did. That is the end of my turn. I'm in pretty good shape. I've got a lot of warriors. i got a lot of spirit. Yep. Drop uh, a no. skull. I'm going to ate it. All right. Events. I ate it. And there are events. <clears throat> New wares. Put any number of treasures from the market on the bottom of the treasure deck, then refill the market. Are there oh. any here that we really, really want? You defeat a magic Of uh, this... Uh, there's not a lot of melee. Are the are the brigands melee? Is it two words. Yeah. Out? Okay. Well. So, oh no, there's stealth and humanoid. The uh, frost troll is melee and humanoid. The titan is also melee and humanoid. And mm. then the bane of omens is stealth and humanoid. So we're dealing with stealth and melee, all and humanoids. humanoids. Yeah. So I think we can get rid of Azkol's idol because <laughs> this is uh, improves our dungeon situation, and there's no dungeon on the board right yeah. now. Yeah. Feel um, good about that. This one has a humanoid advantage. That's not bad, considering all of them are humanoids. And I think we can get rid of the Spear of Atish, too. So we're going to put those on the bottom of the deck and bring out two new cards. Oh. The Lamp of Darkness, that's got to be the opposite of the Lamp of Hope. Uh, spend to remove one foe from your space. Oh. So that's a lot like your mace, except you have to spend this. Right, but it gets rid but, of a foe. And no spirit. Like right. it's just, okay, Done. that's not bad. Uh, and then the other thing that came out is the acorns of the white oak spend to remove up to five skulls from anywhere on the board. Ooh. Also pretty good. And plus wild advantage. In okay. the grasslands. Okay. But yeah, still wild's not bad. All right, so there was that. <clears throat> okay. The... Tower's agents lie in wait. If the player with the black mark is on or adjacent to a sanctuary, they lose 25 warriors. Are you, where are you? I'm in that space, isn't you it? Are, you are next to a sanctuary. Am I? You're, yeah. Oh, in the adjacent that's space. That's the sanctuary. Okay. Right, right, adjacent? Yep. Yep, on, on or, adjacent. or adjacent. So I'm losing 5, 10, 15, <sighs> 20, 25. You know what? I had them to lose. Yeah, but we also need, we need 100. We need Gleb to come back into action here. 
Ouch. How did it know? It did. It just knew. I think it knew. Because, well, I mean, I'm glad you had them to lose. Otherwise, you would have gotten a corruption. Yeah, that would it would have been bad if you that had would the black have mark. sucked. <laughs> All right, so it is back to you. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to try again to gain myself some warriors. No, no, <laughs> David. No. You're not gonna use that. Okay. No. I just put the die away over Probably. here. I'm gonna keep it here just in case. Just in case you're feeling froggy. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and reinforce. Oh, but first, don't forget my potion. Okay. Potion of the Siren Song. Spend to move any foe up to two spaces. Hmm. It's not bad. Oh, yeah, you could move a foe to you and just mace them off the board. Also you true. Spirit. Up to two spaces, though. So yeah. I'm a little, but after you I'm move, a little you far from folks. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I did that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to reinforce and I'm going to gain. I'm going to spend, spend a, spirit? a spirit and I'm going to get 12. Nice. Yeah, 12 is significant when you only had seven. Yeah, I'm kidding. My OG seven. Here we go. And so I did that, and I'm going to go ahead and move. So where um, are you headed? I think I might head over yonder. I mean, why not? Are you going to do a cleanse, you think, or are you looking for a fight? Uh, I'm not close enough for a fight. Like, I could spend that, like, if I went... Uh, one, two, three, and I moved him one, two. It still wouldn't be in the same him space. One, two. Oh, that's true. Yeah, All you right. could do it. It's just brigands, though. Brigands. Oh, but you only have two spirit. Yeah. So, yeah, you couldn't take out a frost troll right now anyway with that mace. Or you could just fight them, the brigands, and then save your spirit situation for the frost troll. Yeah, I think I might try that. I'm going to old-fashioned fight. So let's go. I like this. One, two, three. And then I'm going to go ahead and spend this to move a foe uh, up to two spaces. I'm going to move these guys. One and two. Nice. Which means they're here with me. So this is spent. And This is how you play the game. All right. So I'm going to battle then. I'm going to battle my foe. So let's hit the you battle button. You the, the Please. honors here? Okay, battle. Brigands. Brigands. <gasps> And so what, aggressive. Card, what cards do you want? Uh, I'm going to pick fourth on the top. Fourth on the top. Second on the bottom. Second on the bottom. OK. Lose five warriors. No. Oh, wait. We didn't even check your advantage situation. Yeah, what is my advantage? Brigands situation? are humanoid. Mm -hmm. And what else? Stealth? Uh, yes, correct. And you have one humanoid advantage. Right, and two wild, so I have three. Oh, and you're in, yeah, you're in the. Well, it's two when you're in the hills, and you happen to be in the hills. I'm not sure if we planned that. No, we did. we did not plan <laughs> but it's that. happening. Look at us. So that means you have three advantages to spend. All right. I think I will at least spend one for right now. Let's see what happens. That takes it down to three warriors. <sighs> Let's roll it. Another? Yeah. Gain one potion. I can deal with that. All right. I gained the potion of purifying breath. So spend to remove up to two skulls from any building. Hmm. Not bad. Well, you should spend that before the end of your turn. I will. So we continue. Yep. And you have just one advantage one left. More. You so, want to spend it? Yeah, of course. Lose three warriors. All right. It's it was not nice, bad. Nice knowing you fellas. That was pretty cool. Not bad. So confirm. Got it. And we remove the brigands. Bob brigands. Brigands. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Off the board. Okay. Right. Ah. So I do that. has to be the end I, of your turn. You I did know. so much. But or I did battled. you want to use that potion? So I get two of these because I did the thing. That's true. Mm -hmm. And I can still spend up to two to remove. Ah, uh, yeah. Just I would these feel... two lonely ones over yeah, here and where like, no one is. No one is. So yeah. go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and spend that. It's nice when you can find <laughs> a location that has two skulls and yeah. not three for that card. Or, yeah, the one and you waste the one. That's not bad. Yeah. So I'm gonna, I did that. I got my two spirit. Uh, end of my turn. Let's Skull it roll up. some skulls. <coughs> oh, oh, it popped out. It, and there are events. So it uh, came right out over here. Um, how about the Citadel? I mean, that's your neck of the woods, so. I mean, I guess I'll put it on the Citadel. All and right. the events. Faux apps. Frost Trolls Strike. Mm. Move each Frost Troll to an adjacent space. Then place a skull on each building 
on or adjacent to the frost troll. So, so now we can choose where that frost, we only have one <clears throat> frost troll on the board. All right. And we get, we have to move him one space. Um, so I would say we should move him to a space that has a location so that only one of them is getting it. Or we move him. Because then he's not adjacent to these two. He's just this. What's on that south one? Nothing? Nothing. The village? We could move him down one. Or we could move him closer to you because you're going to go over there and mace him off the board anyway. Mm, yeah, we could probably do that. Do you that. want him at the bazaar? Uh, yeah, because then if I go to the bazaar and I reinforce there, I can get another treasure. All right, so he's going to go there. And then it says, uh, then place a skull on each building on or adjacent to the frost troll. So that bazaar gets a skull. All right, I can deal with that. That's not too bad. That's not terrible. It is interesting, though. That's part of, like, the, the board it definitely seems like a living world to some degree. Rot row shaggy. Force, foe power increases. The power of brigands has increased. They have changed status from ready to savage. Their battle cards, those are the cards we see during the fights, uh, are more difficult, and you will need more advantages to avoid losses. Mm. So this is just a warning that the next time you fight brigands, they've trained up a little bit. Oh, and the month ended. So, okay. luckily we did finish that one quest, but this companion quest is going to go bye-bye. What? Yeah, I think that's how it works. Quest, quest failed. failed. Recruit Miris. Miris band is driven out of the Four Kingdoms to distant lands. You do not gain Miris as a companion, so we'll take that off the board. Bye, Felicia. And month three... New quests. Mm. Mark of the Outlaw King. Mm. A filthy rat has run off with the gauntlet bearing the mark of my authority. I know where he's hiding. Return with the mark and the rat. Our task is to go to the east and quest in three rivers and spend three stealth advantages. So it's very similar to the last quest. We have to have three stealth advantages to gain the mark of the Outlaw King quest item. So we will put this, uh, it's in the east, in three rivers. Oh, oh three Hang rivers is party. It's a happening place. Wow, okay. Right. Well, at least you were headed there. That's true. I don't have three stealth though. Wicked ritual. The Bane of Omens gathers cultists to perform a foul ritual. If they complete it, the bearer of the black mark will become corrupted by the tower. That is not good. Mm -mm. We don't want me to get, get corrupted. I might have to visit the sanctuary soon. So our task in the north is to complete the Egan's Fairgrounds dungeon. Uh oh. Or the hero with the black mark <laughs> will become corrupted. Oh, so it says spawn dungeon here. And this is in Egan's End right here. All right. It says Egan's Fairgrounds encampment. Uh, so we need to add the dungeon, which I'm going to take a look here. Got these dungeon tokens. Looks like not that one. Here we go. So that's going into Egan's End. The dungeons are pretty cool. Uh, I'm not sure we're going to have that on camera because uh, we're probably going to have to prepare for that one a little. Although I could probably go in there. Month three begins. Okay. So whose turn was that? That your, was my turn. Your turn was last? Right. And so, if I remember correctly, dungeons are just like a really punishing onslaught battle. It's yeah, just it's, battle after battle after battle. It's like it's like a, a foe, a fight with a foe, except you're literally looking at a map. So I might run over there just so you can see that, but I don't want to risk us losing necessarily. Yeah. Although I've risked with this die already. Mm. Um, I am close enough to try it. I get five warriors off the bat. You know what? I, I think I'm going to. I'm going to spend one of my spirit. Do I need to? This is one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. I'm going to spend one spirit. All right. Uh, to move twice my speed. Can you reach my guy? Yeah. You're going to go one, one two, two, three, three four, four, five. five. Uh, and first, I'm going to reinforce at the village and spend another spirit for another 12 warriors. Oh, that's going to be helpful. Yeah. yeah. Meat shields, here That's, we come. <laughs> sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Welcome to the army. Um, and now I'm going to go in the dungeon. 
So this is actually uh, pretty cool. So when we go to the dungeon, we're going to click this dungeon button right here. And that's the only dungeon on the map. So I'm going to click that. And you can see here, it starts with this map. The first room is the rectangle there that has this sort of glowing light. And the torch symbol is where I can go from there. So it says, the way is dim, but do your best, and I'm sure it'll all be fine in the end. Choose your path. So I am going to, oh, and it looks like the advantages here are just humanoid, and Gleb's given me two of those. Okay. So I've got two, yeah, I don't got, I don't have any other advantage. Well, oh, uh, yeah. Oh, no, you're not in the forest. And this I'm not a... battling, so it's just going to be Gleb's two humanoid advantages. <sighs> All right, Gleb. So I'll hit that. Your time to shine, sir. So the first thing uh, is to lose five warriors. Um, I think I'm just going to do that because I want to use, if there's another one that says, like, lose a potion, of which I don't have any, I want to be able to use an advantage Fair. on that. So I'm going to just... Sorry, guys. Welcome. Did you take your five at the beginning? I did. Okay. <laughs> I did. Just making sure. I've We're going to need those. We've got all the warriors. Uh, so I'm going to continue. Uh, one more location. So there's no branching paths yet. I'm going to choose that. Lose eight warriors. That's... You know what? I'm still going to just take that. Bye, guys. It's been real. Because I got them to spend. And it will be fun to just get this dungeon done. Although I don't know how big these are. I'm gonna continue. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, now you got three choices. Yeah, and I think I, I, I believe I have to explore all of this. I'm not sure there's like one individual room I'm going for, so I'm gonna go off in this direction. Lose six warriors. Okay, my warrior count is getting down. Um, but I'm also gonna take that one. So I'm gonna give in ten and get four back. So I'm down to twenty-four warriors. I still feel like we should be in pretty good shape. All right, go with your bad self. Oh, I'm gonna go off into this extreme area. Eight warriors, David. Okay, I think I'm gonna use one of his advantages. Yeah, eight seems kind of steep. I'm gonna use one. Ooh! Oh, one. That's, that's a nice improvement. It's really good. <laughs> I was not expecting that sort of delta between right. them. Right. <laughs> uh, okay, so continue. Oh, okay, so I can just go all the way back to these ones. Um, I guess I'll check this branching path. 12, no, six. Still six, <laughs> I'm just gonna, use, I'm gonna lose those six. All right. If we see another eight, I'll, I'll use it again. All right. Continue. Go. I'm gonna go off here. I bet this is the last room, I'm hoping it is. I mean, it probably is. Eight! Okay, so I'm gonna last, use that advantage. The last one, okay. Oh, oh. One. One warrior. That's okay. nice. Okay, so. Continue. And now you're just going to have to... Hopefully this is the last room, and I have 16 warriors left. <sighs> Eight seems to have been the worst we've encountered, yeah, but, so... Yeah, but I feel like this is the big, bad last room, so we'll see here. Twelve. No, no losses! <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. I can't believe that. You know, for a game that's this deterministic, that doesn't have a lot of dice rolling, that's still pretty exciting. We get... Pretty lucky. Uh, okay, continue. Oh, there's this, another room? This has to be the last one. This has got to be it. This is going to be big. No, it's it! You find the cultists and overcome them before they can complete the ritual. Continue. So, that may have seemed easy, but it took uh, oh my God, a lot a of lot. my warriors. I'm down to 16, and I had something like 50 at one point. Um, so I'm going to continue. You gotta get something sweet. Wicked ritual. No, I don't think you get much of anything. You just make sure bad things don't happen. And this was, I think this was the adversary quest. Yeah, so this would have been here, taken off. Wicked ritual, you broke up the ritual and eliminated the cultist. The marked hero is safe for now. Remember, because I was Good job, Dibbit. Thank you. I'm gonna take that dungeon off the map. Too. All right. And I think that was everything for me. You need um, to drop a skull still? And I did... Oh, no, I did a quest so I get two spirit. Oh. Always remember to take your spirit after your heroic action. Yeah, for sure. So I got to drop a skull. Okay. And then you can take the final turn, and then we'll cut the cameras. And then did we'll... you reinforce at all? Yeah, I reinforced here. To oh, because you got the... First. Okay, okay, you're right. Ate it. Events. Events. 
Okay, Gleb. Oh, now you're bringing warrior. Gleb recruits warriors. The player with Gleb may spend one spirit to gain 12. Yeah, I got spirit. Yeah. Uh, to get 12 And you just warriors. murdered like four people, 40 I people. Did. I did. I didn't. Mm. The dungeon. They were losses to the dungeon. That's they were not like, me. Buy meat shield. They buy... knew what they were signing up for. <laughs> okay. Uh oh. Rumor agents of the tower are infiltrating a village waiting for the one with the black mark to approach. You know, I kind of want to get this black mark over to you for a while. Uh, excuse you, I no, sir. Mm -hmm. like that. Get, oh. David! <laughs> David! Okay, so the app is instructing me. I didn't jinx us. I mean. It says give the black mark to the player taking the next turn. If you wish it. Oh, wow, that's crazy. Listen, does that mean I get Gleb? No, it doesn't mean you get Gleb. That's baloney! But, but I, you got Gleb because we, you had this. We can meet up, and I'm happy to let Gleb go with you for a while. But we have to meet up. You can come over to me on your turn, I'll give you Gleb. No, we're not friends anymore. <laughs> we're not friends, and it is a cooperative game. So this should go well. <laughs> All right, I'm going to hit continue. Okay, it's your turn. Like I said, uh, Alicia's going to take the last turn. We're going to give that honor to the Relic Hunter. Uh, and then we're going to finish out, and we might win, we might lose. We'll have to see. We've been pretty lucky. I think that I luck like is going to run out. It's I feel gonna like run we've out. been doing we're all gonna right. We're going to get punished hardcore. We might get punished hardcore. Uh, but take your last turn. All right. I'm going to take my potion. Of course. Yeah. Potion of dragon teeth. Spend to gain six warriors. Yes, please. Oh, that's nice. I'll take six dudes. And do you have anything? What kind of uh, potion do you have for stealth? Uh, spend one to gain a wild advantage. Spend oh, to move any hero up two, three spaces. Six, did you say? Six, correct. Right. Thank you. So I did that. That's so a wild fine. advantage. All right. I'm going to go ahead and I think I'm going to cleanse. No, oh, do I want to cleanse? Do I want to battle? Because I can't go over here just yet because I don't have three stealth advantage. Yeah, but you could go over there and knock that frost troll off the board. That is true. You have, it's going to take three spirit. Uh-huh, I got that. And you can get there because it's only one, two, three away. Mm-hmm. So you could do that. I could do that. Um, but also, is that where you want to it's reinforce? A bazaar, so yes. Oh yeah, that's so you could get treasure a treasure situation. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go boop boop boop, and then I'm going to battle. And I'm gonna battle. You gonna battle, or you just gonna use your mace? Oh, uh, I'm gonna bat. No, I'm gonna use my mace, and I'm gonna get rid of him. So let's remove him from the board. And that costs you three, three. spirits. Yep. All right. I will remove the frost troll from the book. We will fight a frost troll once upon a time, but not. Nah, not I mean, now. why when I got this thing? It is pretty sweet. That, that seems powerful. That treasure is pretty awesome. So no frost trolls on the board anymore, thanks to no, that mace. But I get two spirit back for no. No, and that was a free action, remember? Oh. So I can still you can cleanse. still cleanse one of gonna, these big locations. I'm gonna use my lamp of hope to do that, and nice. I'm gonna go <laughs> boop. And cleanse this area. We're in really good shape on the skulls. There's not yeah. many skulls on the board. Thankfully. There's a few in the tower, but sure. not many on sure, the board. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, so I've done that, which means I get two of these bad boys back. And I'm going to go ahead and reinforce at the bazaar, since that's where I'm at. And I can spend a spirit to gain a treasure. Or you can get a gear. Or I can get a gear. Oh, you I could should... get that stealth. I should do that. That's going to be a free action Because you have me. stealth. I and have... that wild, and you need one more stealth somehow. Correct. Oh! Oh. What? The acorn of the white oak gives you one wild in the grasslands, which is where that thing is. I still need stealth. I know, but this would be a stealth that you could use there. So I can reinforce next time and then do the thing. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Okay. I think it's um, be my next turn. Spoiler alert. <laughs> we'll tell you in the end if that's what we did, but I'm pretty sure that's, that seems like a reasonable seems thing. Seems like a good thing And to it's do. a companion quest, too, so you might get your own Gleb. Listen, nobody's as cool as a Gleb. Is that the end? That is, I need to drop a skull. All right, drop it. 
So we've got events. some events. We'll tell you what those events are, and then we're going to say goodbye for a little bit. The tower stirs. It's about to rotate. Keep your fingers clear. I don't know if you can hear this. Oh, oh so one skull. Is that it? Yeah. Is that all tower? Pick your poison. Okay. Not bad. I mean, you're right here. Uh, yeah, I'll put it there. One thing I want to ask, did we take a, sh uh, a door off of this? Yeah. Is there a glyph shining through it? Uh, no. Okay. Sometimes a glyph can shine through it and it's symbols like the banner symbol or the reinforced symbol. And it means that if that's facing you in your home kingdom, so or in the technically, kingdom that you're in. technically you're sitting over there, so it right. would be facing you. Or if it were over here, right. it would be facing me. It means that you have to spend one spirit in order to take that sort of action. You can't just take it for free anymore. which And that changes, which is kind of crazy. Um, but it didn't happen. New wares. Do we want to get rid of any of these? This we don't want to get rid of. No. Let's get... This maybe. Yeah. Oh, that was pretty it's good. to remove yeah. a foe. It's just to... Mm. You've got that mace. Like, I think the mace is good. Let's get rid yeah. of these two. All right. And we've got... Oakstone bow. You can battle a foe on an adjacent space. That's not bad. And the terrain advantage uses the space you're on. Oh. So you could go next to a guy and be in the hills and get your advantages. That's oh. cool. That is cool. And Azkol's horn. Do not spend spirit for... Oh, so like we were saying, if you have a glyph facing you, you have to spend spirit. If you have Azkol's horn, nah, you don't have to. Nah, bruh. Um, none of these are stealth advantages, but you no. want to get that one so that you, you can do. do that quest. Uh, anything else? No. no. No other events. So we've played a fair amount, but the game is quite a bit longer. We're going to keep going and going, trying to collect enough of this gear so that we can go in and take on that tower quest with the warriors that we need, which is going to be like, what, 40 warriors at least? Yeah, and you killed 40. Yeah. In that dungeon. So uh, we're going to have to, and it'll probably be me, I'm guessing, since yeah. I'm kind of the warrior fiend. Um, and then just so you know, when that happens, that just brings the adversary out onto the board. Then we have to fight that adversary and defeat him. Mm. So that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, wish us luck. We will be right back uh, to you to share what our whole experience was like, though. We lost. All right. Uh, we just wanted to get right to the point. We did lose, but we had a lot of fun along the way, and it did took it, take a while. It did. It took yeah. us about another hour and a half, probably. Uh, maybe. maybe another hour. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were burning through it. Uh, but we'll give you a little bit of a recap what happened, because we did actually get to that main goal. Yeah. We did. I had a hundred. In fact, I had... Probably a hundred and maybe 20? twenty plus warriors. At Thirty one came point. from me. I helped. Yes, she gave me a bunch. Uh, we cooperated in that respect. Uh, I took all those warriors. I did have to spend uh, ninety of them because I did at the time. I don't now. <laughs> at the at the time, I had a piece of gear, so it reduced it by ten, yep. which took it down to ninety. We did that, and then the uh, bane, bane of, of omens. omens came out on the board, and we could fight the bane of omens. Uh, that was, uh, had some unexpected... It was challenging. It was challenging, and I thought, okay, well, I'm the warrior guy. Yeah. So I thought I would attack first, and you didn't have any warriors at that no, point. No, because I gave you all of mine, so I was like, you take a run at him first, because you had all of the warriors still. We were like, okay, meat shields, David's got all of the power, you'd been doing good on all the other beasts. Like I'd just really been wiping out beasts with a treasure that I had, which I don't anymore. Oh, you got rid of that. I'm yeah, yeah, like I had to get rid of a treasure that I had where I just had to pay the cost of them in spirit in order to just get rid of them. The that, golden mace of Azkol, which- Pretty solid. Yeah, we got it. I don't know that you used it. Did you use it before I, we, maybe on camera once? Maybe. But, but she used it a lot. A off lot. Camera. I did do some battling. I'll tell you, a frost troll is no small feat for someone like me. It was not for you. But you took a run at the Bane of Omens and uh, turned out that it needed a, a lot of things that you didn't have. Yeah, so here's what happened. Uh, and I'm just going to give you this warning. If you play Return to Dark Tower and you get up to that last fight, if you will, um, you want to go in not just prepared with one thing that you think you need to be prepared for. You want to be, you want to have warriors. You want to have <laughs> items in this case. 
Uh, there's probably, you basically want to be in really, really good shape. You probably don't want any corruption. No. You probably want to have managed the board and continue to manage the board such that it doesn't affect you negatively because that fight included a lot of things that we didn't see in the other fights during the game. Yeah. In fact, the first battle card that came up asked me to get rid of 30? five no, of items. Oh, that's it right. Was asking me to get rid of a bunch of items, and I had exactly three. Uh, so I had to use an advantage and an advantage and an advantage to the point where I got past that. And then I tried the next card because I figured, okay, maybe this one's going to be about it's the warriors. the same thing. And it was a very similar thing, asking for uh, a lot of items. And that one I couldn't advantage down enough. I had to get rid of my three items. So yeah. I was completely naked except for old Gleb here. Uh, and we thought we, we'd never done this part before. We retreated after I'd effectively accomplished two cards. Two out of four. Yeah, five. So and we thought five. that when we came back, there would just be three cards left or something like right. that. Right, and that was not the case. No, it was not the case. In fact, you go back, and this is actually kind of a cool thing. So all of the advantages I had spent on those cards, those cards were where they were. So if I had whittled a card down to sort of no effects, it stayed in the Bane of Omen sort of deck, if you will, because when Elisha went back, yeah. he had all of his cards and you still had to take on five, five cards. But when you're randomly picking those cards off the screen, you might get some of the cards that I'd already sort of whittled down. And you did get one of those because one of them came up to just no effect. Right, that was the second one. So I went in thinking, okay, they want items. I have... And she had a ton of items. I'm like up to my eyeballs in items. I've got four treasures. I've got a companion. I've got potions, gear. I got all kinds of stuff. And at one point, you ended up passing this to me. Well, the game dictated that you passed yeah. the mark of... Uh, the outlaw to me. So I just, I was covered item wise. I'm like, okay, I think I can nail this. But this was of course, before I realized I was gonna have to take on five cards instead of the three that we thought. So first card pops up and it's lose 30 warriors. Yeah. I had passed all my warriors to him and I was like, oh no. Yeah, it was basically <laughs> the opposite of what we were prepared for. So when I fought, I had no items and that's what I was asking for. When Alicia fought, it asked for warriors, which she'd given all to me. So I had was, to advantage down. It was the perfect oh. storm for for them, honestly, because it destroyed us. And what really got us in the end is we had both gone in. I think I had one corruption. I you did too. Have, so we because both had one. buildings kept getting destroyed, and as soon as those were destroyed, we had to take on a corruption, which stunk. And then we were just spirit poor. We couldn't get rid of anything. And then us having to retreat or losing here ended up giving us just one too many corruptions. Yeah, the corruptions, the other thing you need to know is uh, not only that last fight with sort of the main bad, the other things as they grow in power, the events that take place uh, after each turn became far more severe. This game definitely communicates to you very quickly that you need to finish. Yeah, it's because about to get real. the events that started taking place... At the, at the beginning, the events were like, hey, if you're near a brigand or on a space with a brigand, this little thing happens to you. No. Not a big deal. Then it became um, remove a building. I right. mean, it just straight up like... Or take everyone takes a corruption. Right. Just, there's we no, have that too. There's nothing you can do. So the penalties of those events became very severe combined with what we were trying to do with the Bane of Odin's, Omens, and we absolutely got destroyed. But it was fun. We did end up removing six of the, what, 12, 12. seals off of the tower. Mm -hmm. So, and we had to deal with some of those uh, glyphs that were shining in our face at times, although you got an item that I did. Well, ignore. so I oh. got a companion who let me ignore the glyphs because I had the battle glyph on my part and so I would have had to have spent a spirit in order to do any battling so long as that glyph was there but this let me ignore that and then if I were to go ahead and do that action anyway I would not only get the two for at doing that heroic action but I would get a plus one because of the companion and spirit became very important because at the end and we didn't have enough of it because at the end we were thinking okay well we we're not taking the sanctuaries off the board because that's the only place where we can get rid of our corruption but at that late in the game, yeah. it is hard to like 
spend some time luxuriously grabbing some spirit no. than going to a sanctuary, it was clearing like, your corruption. But that's that's probably in retrospect yeah. what we needed to do. Every event, everything was hitting the fan, and we were like, oh, okay. Yeah, she had a ton of stuff. Like it just, I did. she had a bunch of potions, all the treasures, mm -hmm. some, yeah, it was just crazy. And she did finally get a, uh, a companion. The other cool thing is what treasure is... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I ended up picking up the Necklace of Haggling, and it let me ignore the negative effects on the die, so you guys got to miss the fun die action. Yeah, we started using... <laughs> she started using, I started using the, the die, die a lot. I will tell you, off camera, we did use this die a couple more times <sighs> prior to that, and it burnt us both again, so we kind of swore it off. Until right, she until got I got item. this, and I was like, all right, let's play. And then interestingly enough, I don't think you ever rolled the bad side when you had that. I know, it's like... We got gear, you got some potions, so yeah. it ended up being pretty good. But anyway, that was our experience with Dark Tower. We will probably try it again at some point, hopefully try to, to, to win it. Um, I do think... In my experience, it scaled pretty well with two players. Right. Like, it, it, it really just kind of, like, dishes out the pain at, at the same pace, no matter how many players are playing. Um, there were uh, some things we had to take into consideration, because with four players, you can kind of spread out around the board and take care of things. Oh. And... I don't, yeah. This she, was helpful. In a two-player game, this lamp is very helpful because it let me cleanse anywhere. Yeah, that was huge, We actually. didn't have to be there, yeah. But that was very, very helpful. And we did a great job at managing the skulls. Yeah, I would say, I mean, I haven't played enough to comment on all of the treasures, but I will say that treasure and the Golden Mace of Asgol, yeah. Um, I Those don't imagine solid. me playing this game and seeing this pop up and not, and not wanting to get it. it. Like mm -hmm. someone has to grab this thing because you can just run around knocking guys off the board. However, when you communicate to the app that you've done that, it I think it, a lot of them would always just come right back on the board. Like we knocked the Titan off a few times and the Titan is a tough customer <laughs> for right. sure. And one time she knocked him off and the very next event was he just he came, came back right back on. on. So I'm not sure... If, if that's part of the brilliance and intelligence of this app in this tower. But they kept on dealing out the, the foes, and the it pain, was yeah. a little too tough for us. So anyway, that was our experience with this scenario of Dark Tower. If you have any questions at all, please make them in the comments below. Uh, we'll share as much as we can about the overall experience down there. But until next time, make sure everyone has fun at the table, and we'll see you then. Congratulations, you got to the end of one of our videos. Now, if you want more practice, just click on the video over here. It's another video. You might not have seen it yet, so click on it. If you don't want to do that, at least click on the subscription button below. That always helps us. And if you want notifications, please ring that bell.